Kenwood, Hytera and Motorola all have their famous DMR radios. Motorola have the DP1400, Kenwood have the TKD340 and Hytera have the PD405. They all have their similarities and they all have their differences as well. But the real question is, which one is the best? I'm going to be doing a short comparison today on all their different features and just to see which one you need in your workplace. Kenwood manufacture and sell the TKD240 and the 340. They are both exactly the same in every single way, physically and with features as well. But the only difference is the 240 is VHF and the 340 is UHF. So here I have the Kenwood TKD240. And as you can see, it is slim in design and it fits comfortably in my hand. It is rated IP55 on the ingress protection rating scale, which means that it is protected against dust and it is also protected against limited water jets. It stands at 122 millimeters tall, it is 54 millimeters wide, and it is 34 millimeters in depth. On the top, you can see we have the antenna, and we also have the channel selector switch and the power on and off switch. So once I turn that, that is now on and then I can keep turning it that way and then it will adjust the volume settings as well. On the front we have the microphone. On the left hand side we have the PTT button and two programmable buttons. And on the right hand side we have the accessory connector which is just underneath this little bit of plastic which protects the connector itself. It weighs only 285 grams which is obviously not too heavy. It is very comfortable and it can feel very comfortable in your hand without giving too much strain on your wrist. The TKDs are the most technically advanced radios out of the three I'm going to be talking about today. This means that many features can be programmed into your radio. Features such as CTCSS and DCS, transmit interrupts, loan worker, Vox, the emergency button, all of these can be programmed into your TKD 240 or 340. CTTSS and DCS are available, which means that any unwanted transmissions, whether that be analog or digital, cannot reach your radio. Another feature is the timeout feature, which will electronically cut out your PTT button from working if it is held down for too long. This could be if the radio is in a pocket and it's just being held down without you actually holding it down yourself, it, that can cause overheating and damages. So if this does happen, the timeout feature will electronically cut out the PTT button from working to prevent any damages. Busy channel lockout is also available, which means that only one person at a time can talk on a channel. This stops confusion and any interruptions when you are talking on your channel. Both of the TKDs come with 32 channels split into two zones with 16 channels in each one. The final feature, which is probably one of the most advanced and best, is that the TKD340 and 240 can hold two conversations in the space of one digital channel. The next radio I'm going to be talking about is one of Hytera's most famous radios, which is the PD405. It is the most cost effective out of the three I'm talking about in this video, but does this mean that it still keeps up with its competitors? The Hytera PD405 can come as UHF or VHF, and it is an analog digital hybrid two way radio with DMR signaling. So let's take a look at the radio in hand. As you can see already, it is incredibly more compact than the other radio, the TKDs. It stands at 112 millimeters tall. It is 54 millimeters wide and it is only 28 millimeters in depth. As you can see on top, we have the antenna, which is in the middle rather than on the side. We have the channel selector switch, which is 16. There is only 16 available channels on this radio. And we have the on and off volume control. And then I can use it by turning it up. And then I can turn it back down to then turn it off again. It weighs only 240 grams, which is much more light than the TKD. On the front, we have the microphone. On the left, we, it is a similar design. It has the PTT button and two programmable buttons. And on the right-hand side, we have the accessory connector, which is just underneath there. And it is made up of a 3.5 and a 2.5 millimeter jack. As you can see by the screw, with the accessories that you do buy for this PD405, it comes with a screw that you can actually 
plug in your accessory, you can screw it into place so it stops any tugging and pulling and it won't allow the accessory to be pulled out and possibly damaging the connector. There are a few less features available for the PD405 compared to the TKD340. That is because that is the more technically advanced radio. But the important features such as the emergency button, loan worker, transmit interrupt, roaming are all available to be programmed into the PD405. Another feature is Vox, which allows the user to send transmissions out to their fleet without actually having to press the PTT button. And this can work really, really well with compatible earpieces or remote speaker microphones or headsets. Roaming allows the user to switch between different fleets when using multi-site conventional systems. This allows for flexible communication between different fleets. The emergency button is a programmable button that can be used to, once pressed, it will send an alarm out to the whole fleet notifying them of an emergency. And this can be used to evacuate the premises or to avoid a certain area or take precaution in a situation. So far we've spoken about the Kenwood TKD240 and 340 which is the more technically advanced radio. And we've also spoken about the PD405 which gives simple yet flexible communication between one fleet or multiple fleets. And it is more compact and easy to use in the workplace. The final radio I'm going to be talking about today is one of the most famous and favoured radios on the two-way radio market at the moment and that is the Motorola DP1400. It comes as either VHF or UHF so it can be used anywhere in any workplace from farming to security in a city. It can be used pretty much anywhere except when working around gas and oil or power stations or nuclear materials. For that you would need an ATEX version radio. So when we first take a look at the radio in hand, the first thing that you'll notice is that one is red and one is blue. And this is possible when buying them from Radiotronics, as we offer for an extra cost for you to change your colour of your radio. This can be used if you want to colour code your radios from supervisor to fleet to management to anything you like which hold different features or anything of that sort, you can change the colour of your radio, just for organisation. When we see it standing, you can see it is 127 millimeters tall, 61 millimeters wide, and 42 millimeters in depth, and it is incredibly comfortable in your hand. It is rated IP54 on the Ingress Protection Rating Scale, and that means that it can be protected against dust, and it has limited protection against water. So it can be used in the rain, but I would not recommend using it around a swimming pool or anything of that sort, because if it does fall in, it could get possibly damaged. It comes with 16 channels as you can see by the channel selector switch on top. You have your antenna and you also have your on and off switch. On the front we have the microphone. On the left hand side we have the PTT button and two programmable buttons. And on the right hand side we have the accessory connector. So if I pull this back you can see it has the accessory connector there which is made up of a 3.5 and a 2.5 millimeter jack. And just like the PD405, it has the screw, which is there, which allows the user to just uh, screw in their accessory, not allowing it to be tugged and pulled out, damaging the actual connector or the accessory itself. The DP1400 is not as technically advanced as the TKD340 and 240, but it is incredibly useful for many different reasons for safety and organization in the workplace and it has the features to make them possible features such as ctcss and dcs talk around digital private line loan worker transmit interrupt vox they all come with this radio loan worker can be programmed into the dp1400 which allows the user to work safely when working alone if the user is inactive on their radio for a preset amount of time, then an alarm will be sent to them. If they answer to this alarm, then there is nothing by it. They could have simply just been working hard and not been using their radio. But if they do not answer to this alarm, then a separate alarm will be sent to the fleet or to the supervisor to notify them that you haven't answered and that you could be potentially unconscious or injured and not with your radio. From this, the supervisor or the rest of the fleet can go out and actually look for you and make sure that you're okay because again, you could just be away from your radio and have not seen the alarm or heard the alarm. 
Transmitting to interrupt can also be programmed into the DP1400, which allows the user to interrupt any ongoing transmissions during a conversation in their channel to notify the whole fleet of an emergency. The user can't be simply stood there waiting around for the conversation to end when a fire has broken out in the warehouse or just as an example, but they have to interrupt everyone that isn't possibly talking on the channels to notify them that this has happened and that they need to potentially evacuate the area or take the precautions needed. There are many accessories that can be used with the DP1400. This includes headsets, earpieces or remote speaker microphones and if they are compatible they work really really well with Vox and it can be very useful to many different workplaces. A quick summary of what I've spoken about in this video. We have the TKD 340 and 240 which is very much more technically advanced than the other two radios. We have the PD405 which is small, it is compact and it gives very simple yet flexible communications between one fleet or multiple fleets. And we have the Motorola DP1400 which is robust and it is reliable and it has the features needed in most workplaces. They all come with DMR signaling which makes the audio quality and the connectivity much better than the average analog radio. From this table you can see all the features listed out and which radio has which one. So you can see clearly that the TKDs have the most features and that could potentially mean it is the best DMR radio. But it is all up to you and what you prefer and what you actually need in your workplace. If you enjoyed anything in the video today then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to like and subscribe to all of our social media platforms. Click the little bell icon and that will notify you of any upcoming videos released in the near future.